But she also taught me a second lesson. She said, John, if you hang around five broke people, you will become the sixth broke person. <laughs> if you hang around five successful and wealthy people, you will become the sixth wealthy person. And what my grandmother was trying to say is, wealth really has to start with your circle and it has to start with environment. And that began to shape who I was becoming as a young entrepreneur. And I can remember as early as nine years old, I literally had my first Kool-Aid stand on this corner, right? And so here I am on the same corner where I had my first entrepreneurship endeavor on this corner selling Kool-Aid. Why? Because I began to have a why and I wanted to do something positive as I saw all these negative things going on around me, right? And so for me, it was so important to do something positive, but also my grandmother's mindset began to trickle on to me, right? I was hanging around this successful, strong, uh, confident woman, and I didn't know it, but I began to become strong, young, confident boy, because my environment changed. It was different from living with my mother and having different drug dealers and gang members running in and out of my house. When I moved in with my grandmother, it began to change my mind. And I think oftentimes we overcomplicate this wealth conversation. We think that we have to read this book and we have to get this degree. But I'm telling you, friends, it starts with your mind. And once you change your mind, decide to maybe say no to some of those friends that are maybe holding you back and decide to change your environment and get around some people that are unique to themselves, but think similar to you. Have some of the same goals as you. Have that tenacity and that courage to fight for something greater than themselves. And that's what I got from my grandmother. And that's why I had this first Kool-Aid stand. And this Kool-Aid stand turned into the real estate that I'm building today as a grown man.